We are recording to the cloud. Welcome to day two of the headstand phenomenon. So, just feeling about the camera, guys. Hi. Um, hi, you. Thank you for being here. Lonely without you. So, this is part two of the headstand for beginners or just readers this isn't headstands just hey it's headstands you're turning the world upside down and that's our end sometimes when you change perspective you get a different result okay so let's let's let the people in the room who do we have today admitting all in they come I'm just going to close that door because i've got a, a yappy dog that is very near my my yoga space let me close the window I can't keep this little hit the way dog. Hello everybody! Hello! Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. It's time for our yoga to do. Hi Hannah, how you doing? Michelle, Linda, Trudy, Sue in the house. I think we have Alice in here. Some of you don't come up with the name, you come up with the make of what you're using. We've got a Weiwu, a Weiwu on there. I don't know who the Weiwu mate two is, but hi Weiwu mate two. And then, aha, uh -huh, admit all, incoming, incoming. Ah, the Leggett's in the house. Marvellous, very good. Oh, Angela, Angela, you look gorgeous today, darling. How beautiful you look. You almost look quite virginal. Is it okay to say that? You look angelic. Yes, you look like a sort of, well, you look like you were trusted with your bank cards. That kind of look. I don't know whether that's a good idea, but it's my feelings. Admit it. I could look, do you know what? Every time I do this, I get, I do find it difficult not to have a little sob of joy that we're all here. I never expected this to work this well you know this has changed zoom has changed my life thank you the people at zoom for making my life a better place it's mad isn't it it's brilliant oh love you all all on in all comfy oh there's a ch oh, hello chat coming up someone's chatting i've got no sound let me have a look at you let me see what's going on in your little little block um there's Sean. Oh, I was thinking of Sean this morning. Okay, no sound. You might want to check your settings. So I'm going to say, if I've got no sound, you're going to be able to hear that, are you? <laughs> what the crap. <laughs> um, let's just message. Check settings. Mic on. So everyone else can hear me, give me a thumbs up if you can all hear me. Sound check, sound check, yeah, it's just... Hi Carrie! Sound check complete. Hello! John's just left the room. Option to, option to connect to audio. Yes, thank you Trudy, good one. Thanks for chipping in, that's handy. Lovely. Check settings on mic. I'm just going to tell you all, oh I love you! Oh, send. Yay! Brilliant. So, oh, hello. There's, I think they're coming back in. They're coming back in. There we go. Good, good, and good. Very nice. Don't worry. There's 15 of us today, everybody. 15. 15 of us. It's amazing. You're all amazing. Headstands. You deserve them. Yeah, you deserve headstands. We're going to crack it this week like you've never cracked it before. Okay, so from your little hybrid in the boxes, everybody's in a box. So, what? Are, there's Debbie. Ah, good. Hi, Debs. <coughs> so, we are going to work on our headstands. That's why I want Debbie here, because I know Debbie's excited to do this. We're working on the headstands. Okay. But we're doing it in a way, morning Debs, we're doing it in a way that I want us to build up strength through the week. It's an incredible opportunity. 
that if you're going to be here every day or you download the class and you do this little bit of yoga every day, you can have some amazing benefits. One, hey, sod it, it's a bit of an ego booster in a headstand. Even if it just means that you get in the position, or even if you're just thinking about doing a headstand, just checking, you're all in, yeah. Good, good, good. Mute all, all muted, good. There's, oh, Sean had to come back in again. Admit. Sorry guys, we've got a couple of people just coming in. There we go, good. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. So the idea is facing our fears when we do this. It's not about taking the headstand, it's not about making this perfect column, this obelisk shape of your body into the sky with power and strength and folding your legs into lotus while doing it. It's about facing your level of fear, where you need to get to. Now, even thinking about doing a headstand for some people fills them full of dread. They say, ah, oh, ah, oh, no. Yeah? Um, those of you that have done the beginner's course quite often will, will see someone go up and headstand, and they will squeak and squeal and laugh because they're so surprised they've gone upside down. Yet there's some people, because I've been teaching headstands like this for a long time, they their body refuses it yeah there's a reason for that barrier coming up so that's why this week we've got a really great opportunity as always use energy to layer the paint on yeah it's a bit like putting a wash of watercolor on something dipping the paintbrush in a bit more pigment adding some more color to it and we'll get to a place for each of you where your headstand is the right color that makes sense so we're building up our upper body and shoulder strength Strength, core strength and lengthening hamstrings. These are all the things we need to achieve this goal. So we're going to start standing up today. So if you need to go straight over to your cameras, please do so. And we're going to start standing up. I'll start facing you on my mat just for the sake of the demonstration. So Come standing on your mat, we're going to work the shoulders and the neck in a very gentle moving way. I've stolen this from a, another yoga teacher. Basically, I'm a palette. I'm just a repeater. I find stuff, I repeat it. Repeat, repeat. So, this isn't my work, okay? Feet hip distance apart, settle into the feet. We'll begin by breathing the body into movement. That's a yoga saying, isn't it? Breathing the body into movement. Let's talk bloody English. We're going to move and breathe in synchronicity. Okay? So hands on the hips, like we did yesterday, but we're laying down. This time, I want us to then bring the feet together no, so the no, knuckles of the big toes connect. And there's a little gap between the heels. Hands on the hips. And I want you to just tilt the pelvis forward by tilting the hips and gently bring the chin in towards the chest. As you squeeze the legs together, Round the belly, draw the shoulders back, and lengthen from earlobe to shoulder. Don't look up, just lengthen. Exhale, tilt. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Exhale, take the tilt. Now, holding in this tilt position, squeeze the inner thighs together. And as you squeeze them in, I'm hoping you're feeling sort of a triangle feeling coming up here. A gentle lift. This is known as, as Mulabanda. I want you to feel that feeling. Keep breathing. Inhale, release the belly, release the squeeze, draw the shoulders back. Now let in the front of the throat. Okay, we'll go back into that again. So, tilt on in. Softness is in the knees. Chin slightly to chest. Squeeze the inner thighs inwards. Firm squeeze. And feel that go up the central line of your body. Now gently, while holding this position, gently imagine I've got a golden thread attached to a navel and I'm just drawing that navel back. It's going whoop, whoop, 
just gently, no force, okay? I want you to feel that feeling now. Inhale, release, let the hamstring stretch. What we're doing is we're programming your muscle memory for headstand. Okay, tilt the pelvis. And we're talking quality headstand, not dangerous neck headstand. This is my aim, yeah? Tilt, gently feel the activation of the pelvic floor, abdominal walls, and a little triangle V up shape. The golden thread of the navel, good. Continue with that feeling there, by squeezing the inner thighs together, and then stand tall. And suck gently, it was like a, a swirling vacuum, yeah? Release the hands down by the side of the body. Good. Turn the palms forward so the shoulders are open. Try to ignore the shape of my arms. I've got funny shaped arms. Chicken wing arms. Okay. Now feel how that feels, yeah? No pressure on the neck. Nothing there. Just this really firmness in the front of the legs, back of the legs. A gentle lift of the buttocks, not gripping and breathe. Close your eyes. Feet should be together and there should be a gentle movement about you. As your eyes are closed, there's five breaths there and I'd like you to slow down your exhale. But keep the activation in the legs. Mula Bandha, lower Bandha, and Uddiya Bandha. The navel bander. And then relax and let go. Good work. Okay, let's pop back down onto the mat, onto all fours. So what our aim is with that is to program in the feeling of how the legs should feel and the core should feel going up into a headstand. Because when we get up into headstands, we get very excitable. We release the breath, or we're holding the breath. We don't have the activation through the legs and your core muscles. And it goes, tits up, and we crunch into the neck. We'll hold the headstand, we always do, because our ego keeps us up there. Or fear of falling. But I want us to have quality. So, onto all fours. Now let's start with our beautifully grounded vinyasa, building up upper body strength. Spread the fingers, knees directly underneath the hips. Inhale, fill the belly. In we go into cow. Exhale, curl under. Today, take a gaze to the right knee. Inhale, arch, balance the mango on the spine. Exhale, gaze over to the left knee. Inhale. Arch the spine, walk the hands forward, one of your own hand spans. Elbow nice and high. Make sure the arms are shoulder distance. And as we lower down, slowly to the earth, elbows caressing the ribs, gentle to begin. Chin towards the chest, forehead on that point, toes. Inhale, levitate the heart, but not the nose. Exhale, rock back, a toes tucked under, child's pose, lengths in the arms. Okay, a rooted vinyasa. Inhale, arch the spine into cat. At the end of it, into cow, a ripple of the spine. Exhale, lower down. Gaze the tip of the nose. Release the legs, chin to chest, neck relaxes. Inhale, lift the heart. Now take the gaze to the top of the mat. Exhale, walk back, child's pose. Good. Inhale. Arch your way through. As you turn the arch in the opposite way, root down the base of the first finger. Exhale, lower down. Elbows by the ribs. Release the toes. Inhale. Easy cobra. Exhale. Rock back. Child's pose. Forehead to mat. Take hands by the side of the body and wiggle and rotate the wrists. Hands back, all the way, full length, big stretch, high on fingertips. Good. Inhale, all the way back. Now, there is an option coming along. 
you can, if you know that your upper body strength is good today, you keep on the high finger. Also, if you want to improve wrist strength, we give a little go on the high finger, okay? So we arch the spine as before, and we lower down with the high finger. And you're gonna feel a change in that. It's gonna go into the shoulders. Good, root the hands down, inhale up. Exhale, walk back. Child's pose. Inhale, force, arch the spine. Decide, fingers or palms down. Lower to the mat. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, walk back. So your high fingers or base of first finger. Last one before we move on. Inhaling, so I'm going to root my first base of the finger and lower. Point the toes, top of the feet on the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, rock back, child's pose. Inhale or fall, step the right leg through. Okay, hamstring stretches, building on. Walk the toes forwards like five horses on a chariot, high fingertips. Inhale, look forward. Nice long length in this line. And then flex the foot. Rock on back. Feel the hamstring for the first time today. Inhale. And exhale. Easy as we go on that. Inhale. Drag it on back. Bring the hands a little bit back towards you. Okay. Press the back knee onto the mat. Lengthen the heart upwards. Flex the toe. Good. We're going to take the left hand and take it over to the right side of the mat. Take our twist as we did before to intensify the hamstring. You can, if you want, roll the foot out. This will activate the IT band. It'll also squeak into the sciatic nerve. Gives you a nice tingly feeling. Hands release. Either side and front foot. Bring the back leg up. We're going to go across the long edge of our mouth. Walking across. Inhale, look up. Flat back. Toes turn in. Exhale, forward fold. Crown of head towards the earth. Inhale, look up. Flat back. Moving back to where we came, slide the leg back, knees on the mat, spread the fingers, down we go, half push up position. Now, release the feet, squeeze the inner thighs together. Now tuck the toes under, keep your knees on the mat, we reverse that press up action, press it back up. Exhale, walk back, child's pose. Other side, inhale, come forward. Stepping, left leg through, walk the toes. You can tell I've got a lot of this to get on with today, can't you? Because I'm quite like, let's go, let's go, let's do this, yeah. Flexi the foot. Ooh. Okay, over to you, yeah. So what commands this? Decide where the right position is to get the most out of opening the hamstring, feeling the groin, moving with breath. All of that jazz. Inhale, forward. Exhale, walk it back. Now drag the hands towards the supporting knee. We'll take right hand over to the left side of the mat and square the shoulders. Experiment with turning the foot out, possibly. Let this one marinate a bit. Like you would do, you know, if you buy some of them cheap olives and you put them in your own marinade, you wouldn't take them out straight away, would you? You let them marinate a bit more. As I said, olives and people automatically think of wine. I know you lot. Walk the hands back. Length in the heart forward. Back leg lifts and we go to the right side of the mat. Back leg lifts. You're going to see my derriere. These ladies, I think, are a little bit transparent because they're so old. So, um... Apologies if I'm uh, showing too much. Inhale, lift up, flat back. 
Exhale, take the fold crown of head towards the earth. Hello. <laughs> I can check to you if it's sweet to. Inhale, flat back. Walk the hands back round. Step the leg back. Now hold the fire here straight into plank. We've got this one. Hold your plank. Now, as we did with the standing up feeling, yeah, I want the inner thighs working together, the feeling of the pelvic floor lifting and the navel towards the spine. I'm waffling to hold you here, as per normal. Knees down to the mat, and then glide yourself down to the mat, squeezing the feet together till you lay yourself in one long sausage on the mat. Good. Inhale, lift up cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Perfect. Open and close the fingers. Inhale, into all fours. Step your both legs through, coming to a forward fold, front of the mat. Keep the heart low, head even lower. Hang out over that spine. Take the hands to the base of the spine today. As we draw the shoulders away from the ears, like locust wings, we'll lift the chest up and we'll arch the spine. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, navel towards the spine. Forward fold, keep the hands where they are. Chin in towards chest and repeat. Inhale, press firmly into the feet. Now some of you may want to take hold of the elbows in this halfway posture, which is quite nice on the neck. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, let's send the old uh, glitter rockets out of the rectum. I'm sparkling. Inhale, bring it up. Halfway. Some of you may want to even reverse the prayer. Exhale, forward fold. Remember those arm actions, we're going to be using them in a bit. Inhale all the way up through the flat back, feel the hamstrings, feel the feet move. Inhale, heart up to the sky and relax. Okay, spinal release coming. Here we go. Lots to do, lots to do. Very excited about all of this. Inhale, take the hands up to the top. Good. Exhale, crumple down, take the prayer down at the right side of you. Hold it down. I love this feeling on my spine. Bend in to the left leg. Relax the arms and roll up. I know I want you to feel that in your lower back. I think that's delicious. O'Brien, you're going to like that one. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Take the golden thread and draw it down to your left side. Relax the arms, relax the head, relax the neck. Inhale, roll up to the side. Draw that right shoulder up, feel an extension, expanse through the ribs, surface anterior, all of that jazz. Exhale, forward fold, head, heart, touch the earth. Inhale, look up to the flat back. Okay, building up vinyasana. Let's go with this. Exhale, forward fold. Chin to chest, elbow high. Inhale into plank, spread fingers. Knees to the mat first, please. Half chaturanga. Oh, the chaturanga. Exhale, we lower down. But this time, we inhale, we'll press back up. Toes are tucked under. Exhale, roll back. Down with dog. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice, I like it. Inhale, take right leg up to the sky, but I want the heel going up. Inner thighs scissor towards one another. Good. Look forward, draw the leg, place it between the hands. We're going along the left side of the mat, walk the hands along, hamstring opener, turn the toes inwards, a soup song. Inhale, lift up. Sean, I'm hoping I'm giving you a good boobage from here, Sean. Yeah, Sean sent me a little message. It had two horse chestnuts on it. Says it all, doesn't it? Says it all. I sent her a message with two great melons on it. I did. 
share the moment. Exhale, forward fold, take the chin in towards the chest. Good. Now, take left and right hands onto the legs somewhere. Get a good firm grip. Some of you may want to take the two piece fingers around the big toe. Thumb goes on top, always stimulating the pineal gland, people. A little softness in the knees. So you're sending your inner thighs out and back. But, but this is going to look, but I want a bit of that action. Slightly pornographic, I know. Not that I've ever seen any porn. Only the, only the movies I'm in, yeah? That makes you think. Inhale, lift up the flat back, send the sitting bones as wide as you can. Good. Release the head back down. Good hamstring work. Walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat. And we step forward, look up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, navel to spine. Good manoeuvres. Roll up through the spine, bend knees, ease into shoulder rolls all the way up. Inhale. Exhale and drop off the rucksack of worry and woe. Let's go for two more. Inhale. Make this as manoeuvring as you need to. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Hands go up the central line. Okay, we're going to take the same position here. Going down to the left. Draw the thread down to the left. Relax the arms, relax the head. Roll up the side. All the way up. Inhale, hands come up to the sky. Full push. Draw the thread down. Full exhalation, bottom of the breath. Inhale, as if you've been inflated as you go up to the sky. Lovely lower back stretch, never fails to feel good. <clears throat> Exhale, forward fold, head, heart, down to earth. Inhale, look up for the flat back. Exhale, forward fold, building on our power and strength. Inhale into plank. Option, you don't have to put the knees on the ground. If you're feeling tender from yesterday, please put the knees on the ground. Exhale, lower to the mat. When we get there, release. Let the feet go, forehead go, shoulders drop. Tuck the toes under, squeeze the inner thighs together. Either knees on the mat or not. Lift back up, reverse the press up. Exhale, rock back. Downward dog. Left leg is going to glide up to the sky, but it's a heel high. Draw the leg on through, plant it down front of the foot, and we'll walk to the right side of the mat. Taking hold of the big toes, ankles, thighs, we're thinking about sending the inner thighs, rolling the flesh out and upwards, like we do with the passion with Tanasana. Inhale, lift the chest, grab what you've got hold of, and then exhale, dynamically send the elbows out wide if you're in the full posture. And take the crown of the head down towards the earth. Top tip, press out through the outer edges of the feet, you'll feel the shin bones sink. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, we'll walk to the front of the mat, and step forward. Look up halfway flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up through the spine. Three shoulders, we go the opposite direction, so send the elbows back. But you're doing butterfly stroke. And then the shoulders forward. Inhale. And exhale. When we're doing these sort of plank postures, it's best to unlock the neck. Okay, neck loosener coming up. Stand nice and tall. Feet come together again. Knuckles of the toes connected. We're going into that thing. So hands on the hips. Get the little tilt of the pelvis forwards. Inner thighs connect. Fill the pelvic floor lift. Stand a bit taller through the head. Draw the navel in. Hands down by the side. Palms face forward. <coughs> Really high out the crown of the head. Good. Turn the head, 
around to the right. Inhale. Turn a little bit further. Inhale again. Now send the eyeballs round. Good. Inhale back to centre. Take a bit of loosening. And then to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, turn. Chin's parallel to earth. Nice deportment. Inhale. Exhale, turn the chin, take the nose round. Easy for me than you. With this nose, and then the eyeballs round in the skull. Good, that's enough tension there. Come back and release. Good. Inhale, hands up to the sky. We saw Lisa do this yesterday. Interlink the fingers, turn the palms up. Arms go up to the sky. Stand tall, take the hands behind the spine. Interlink the fingers, inhale, lift chest. Exhale, forward fold, and then let the arms hang over the top of you. Release the hands. Inhale, look up like that. Exhale, full forward fold. You can raise the toes if you wish. Inhaling into plank. Okay, knees down on the mat. Lower down to the mat. Okay, all of this together we're going to do the reverse plank feeling. So, inner thighs together. Same feeling we did when we were standing up. I don't want to click in my fingers. I find that annoying. Take the hands a little bit lower down so that in line with the nipples. Chin in towards the chest and so the back of the neck as a softening stretch. Check you're not clenching your jaw. Tuck the toes under. Squeeze the thighs together, see if you can lift the kneecaps off the mat and get the same feeling we did in standing. And when you're ready, believe in the power to push into the plank. Exhale, rock back, downward dog. Breathe with the legs together in downward dog, three to five breaths. Stay steady. Okay, knees down to the mat. So, we're now going to work into building up that shoulder strength a little bit more. Dolphin pose. We're going to start with the arms wide. Let's take the forearms down to the mat. We know that if we're in all fours and we take the elbows where the hands were, we get that nice measurement. But you know me, measure twice, cut once. Measure that the hands take a good hold of the elbows. Perfect. Release the hands, forms onto the mat, spread the fingers wide. Root and toot and down with the base of the first finger. Now from here, I would like you to arch the spine like you're doing cow pose. Get the feeling. Now exhale, arch the spine into cat pose. Inhale, arch into cow pose. Okay, toes are tucked under. I'm going to go into a forearm balance. Take the tailbone up towards the sky and press those forearms into the mat. Walk the toes forward a little. Keep pressing the elbows into the mat. Contact as much as you can. Inhale, right leg will come up to the sky. Keep the hips square. So in total, we're working. The left hamstring, the shoulder girdle, your core muscles, the feelings we need to get strength into. For a strong handstand. Foot comes back down. Knees come back down. Then drag the arms, which you'll need to, roll on up, three shoulder circles. So we're going to keep building, layer on layer, and this <coughs> upper body strength. Good. Inhale for good measure, take hands up to the sky, interlink the fingers, palms up, and then and take the chin towards the chest and press the arms back. 
Exhale, hands down to earth. Okay, let's do the other leg raising. So, over to you. Make your measurements. Final falls, elbows, check. Measure, check. Forearms back to 11, check. First finger rooted, check. Shoulders away from ears, check. Excellent, legs together. On your exhale, bottoms go high. And if you wish, on your inhale, you raise that left leg. I like to bring my feet a bit further forward so I'm getting that shoulder work. I need you to breathe strong here. I want you to feel the hamstring on the right leg and the right calf really opening up. Strong breaths. And take that leg back down to the earth. Now stay with me, beautiful people. No knees down yet. Squiggle, squiggle feet, like Dorothy in her red shoes of the Wizard of Oz. Send the feet back so when you come into a forearm plank, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you can steady there. Forearm plank is in. Tuck that tailbone under. Pull in Lula Banda. Pull in Odia Banda. And then take the gaze slightly forward. Oh, we're in. We're in. And lower down to the mat and into Sphinx. Oh. Charles Pose. If you please, exhale back, Charles pose. Time for Jesse's prayer. At least as my elbow goes click, I do this, click. Take the prayer behind the back of the head. I'd like your knees to be together in this, if you don't mind, if you don't mind. Yeah. Knees together, lovely. Take a few breaths, let the shoulders settle, okay because we're building up that little bit of strength each time. Good. From here, extend the arms out nice and long and slide your knees wide. So your rib cage goes on the inside and the belly gets rounded. You've got a nice place for the wine package. Gosh, I'm thickening up through the middle at the moment. Don't mind that, it's good fun. Take the right ear to the right arm and just rest it there. Take the left fingertips and just ease a little twist out of yourself. Keep walking the right fingers long. Maybe the hand on the knee. I felt on the floor myself. Let the weight of the head. Chin slightly tucked in. And by the, I'd like you to be feeling this at the bottom of the scapula. Scapula sounds like spatula. Swap the arms over, reach left arm out, roll the head, lollop it onto the other arm. Bending left, grab and pull the left fingers forward, let the head rest. And we know if we take full of breath, the diaphragm will do the moving and the stretch will be beautiful and internal, especially through the intercostals of the ribs. Okay, come back to all fours. Let's take some spinal twists and some core strengthens now. So, side plank, Vististhrasana coming up, like we did yesterday, we've got all the groove going on, so inhale into all fours, Today, we're not gonna go down from hips to up. We're reversing the action, okay? So, take your right forearm parallel to the short top edge of your mat. Spread the fingers. Taking your left hand for support, I'd like you to just go from this position, extend the legs out, so you're straight in to the posture. Hand on the hip. Got it. We dip and we press, we dip, and we press, we dip, and we press. We're gonna slide the left arm through, swap it over, if 
you want to put your knees down, I'm not going to see, I'm turning the other direction, I'm looking away, I'm looking away, and we come, hand on the hip, we take a little dip, and press, we take a little dip, and press, we take a little dip, and press, we rock it back, groin goes down, sphinx pose, draw the shoulders back. Okay, from sphinx, we're gonna roll the head across the clavicle, the collarbone, and take it up to the right. We do this one in class quite often, swaying cobra, up to the left. Go really gentle on your neck, no, no, Push your pull, sway down. Bend the right leg and just gaze over to the right leg. Just gaze, a soft gaze. Inhale, sway the head down. Exhale, other leg. Keep this very gentle for me, yeah? Just a, a soft swaying. Leg to leg. Little dip from side to side. And then come back to centre. Take the fingertips towards the top of your mat. So you've got a very extended sphinx pose. You're about an inch or two away from the mat. Bring the chin in towards the chest and put the head onto the mat. Three very long breaths there. Okay, after a little rest, we're going to go into sort of the most strenuous, most muscular part of the class. So come up to all fours. Just for good measures, let's take a bit of cat and cowage. If I had a pub, I might have to call it the cat and cow. Quite like the idea of that. Where we do proper beer yoga. What a nice idea. Exhale. Does anyone want to buy me a pub? <laughs> that wouldn't be a good idea, would it? Okay, from here, we're going to plant the seeds again for the full headstand, but we're not going to put our head on the floor today. Okay, we're going to make it a bit more challenging. So, hands underneath the shoulders. Elbows go down, same measurements as before. Okay, and then we're going to take the measurement. Then we're going to interlink the fingers, like we did yesterday, thumbs up, palms apart. Outer edge of your wrist presses into the mat. Coming to camera to explain. Okay? I'm like doing a Russian dance. <laughs> when we release the arms and interlink them, it's this part of your wrist. Yeah? I'd like you to feel in contact with the mat. Now, my yoga teacher taught me this. And every time I engage it, I feel the strength coming up my shoulders. So, measure, measure, you're on the ground. You open the arms, the thumbs go up. And what happens is we roll the hands like this. We all do it when we do headstands. I do as well. So I'm gonna quickly demonstrate what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna hopefully get this in the right positioning. When we do the measurement and we start going into the headstand, once the weight goes up, the arms, start to splay out and this is quite often the reason why the neck starts to collapse in if we press the wrists into the mat you can feel you can even see it you can see the muscles engage now if the muscles of the arms and the shoulders are engaged you are not sitting on your neck your cervical bone structure because this is where it all looks really awful and you can't sustain the headstand so Right, measure, measure, interlink. So from this position, I would like you to go into dolphin pose. And as you press up there, keep thinking about those outer edges of the wrist. 
you can even look at them. The way you look, you go. Then from this posture in the dolphin, pressing the forearm strong, inhale the right leg up to the sky. Thinking outer edge, outer edge, outer edge. Place the leg back down. Other side, inhale the leg up. Make sure that you're pressing that floor away from you and the foot goes down, knees go down, inner thighs together, child's pose with chin tucked in, Jesse's prayer behind the back of the neck or arms by the side and take hold of the outer edges of your feet. If you wish you can roll on towards the top of the head to release the neck but only do that if you know it's going to not cause you any jip later on. Okay, you've got the trust that I'm not there to, like I say, poke and prod you into posture. Okay, good. Let's go for this one more time. I'm going to add on a little bit of juice onto it. So, key factors. Are you breathing? Number two, is it creating benefit or strain? Yeah? At any time, Charles pose, okay? Doing this a week, loads of chance to build up. So, back to all fours. This is the last one of our arm balances for today. Forearms down, measure, interlink. Thumbs up, outer edges of wrist on the mat. Very nice. Press the forearms in as if you're trying to get away from a bad smell. It's as if you, your fingers have gone through your dog poo bag. It's happened to me. If you've got a dog, it's happened to all of us. You want to get away from that smell. Pressing the nose away from the stinky hands. Tuck the toes under. We go into our dolphin pose. And I would like you to walk the feet forward. Bend the right knee and take the right heel towards your buttock. Place it back down. Take the left knee, bend it, take the heel toward the buttock. Foot goes down, we go down. We walk the hands forward and we go and have a little lay down on our backs. Oh, I don't want the heart and the head going above the heart, so you're down on your mat. Lovely. Very nice. Rub your shoulder blades into the mat. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Bind the arms around for that lovely hug. Grab hold of the shoulder blades. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Press the lower spine into the mat and exhale. We'll take a little lift up, a little squeeze. And release the head down. Inhale, arms come up to the sky. Interlink the fingers. Turn the palms up and extend the arms behind you. Mm, good feeling. Your arms may not contact the floor. That's not unusual. It's not unusual to have your arms not touching the floor. Take the hands back up to the skull. Wrap the arms around. Make sure the other arm goes on top. Grab the shoulder blades. Go with good boobage. Be careful not to get booby trapped. Chin in towards your chest. Lift on up. Fill the abdominals. Lower back down. Inhale, hands float up to the sky. We're slowing it all down now. Interlink the fingers, make sure the other thumb is on top. Palms up towards the sky. We have a nice wrist relief. Spine flush to the mat. Extend the arms behind. Feel that release in the shoulders. You may choose to bend the elbows to get a bit more contact with earth. As you bring the arms over, 
bring the right knee in towards the chest. Side hand on the inside. <coughs> ah, laughing baby, Ardha Balasana. Extend the right leg long. Over to you, Carrie. Carrie special. When it's reached as far as it's going to go, extend left leg. Point it down to the bottom of the mat. Some of you may wish to extend the right arm out and maybe do the little lifty thing we like to do, where we get as much of us off the mat as possible. Left arm, left leg, raise on up, chin towards chest, then bring it all back in, knees in, soften down. Feet down to earth. Other side. Left leg, slide the hand in, back of knee, foot, big toe, over to you. I'm going to be careful I don't kick my deities. They do not like that. Lengthen the leg to where it feels nice. Extend the right one. Lengthen it down. Let it drop at first to get the full opening of the hamstring. Whatever you've got grabbing hold of on the left leg, you can take the right arm out, raise right arm, right leg, and have a little lift. Lower back down to the mat and bring the knees in towards the chest. Okay, we're getting towards that moment, people. We're going to take a spinal twist, but so you don't have to come back, make sure your blanket, your cuddly teddy bear, your dog, small child, whatever you take as comfort. O'Brien will be grabbing the large bottle of rose port. What if it's your little comfort is? <laughs> so come back down to the mat if you had to move. All I want us to do now is just take, take a really nice twist of the, of the lower back. And you can, you know what you do with this one. Bring the knees in towards the chest, take a drop over to one side, see how it's feeling. If, if there's room where you are, you can extend the leg. You can smooth that leg about. Deepen the, if you want to deepen the twist, what do we do? We'll take left leg over right and ease into that twist. Oh, I say, I was expecting it to be that intense today. Sat on the computer all day yesterday. Website's nearly there, everybody. Nearly there. And when you're ready, take a twist to the other side. What I've done on one side, I'm going to make sure I've done on the other side. We know about wonky shop and try situations. And take it over to the other side. I've got a feeling my spine's going to go clunk in a minute. What do we do then when we feel that? We breathe it. little bit of a truth monster here. I've got a feeling I've got to go revisit that after the class. This twist on this side, that needs revisiting because it's making me hold my breath. Note to sum. Soles of feet go on the mat. Take any undulations of the spine you wish. And the beautiful people, it's time for Shabbatana, okay? Have a little rub of your body on the mat as if you're trying to rub chalk off you. Put your blanket around you. I'm going to come round and tuck you all in. A little gentle kiss upon the forehead I give you all. Settle yourselves in. All of you. Resting. Close your eyes. Feel the temperature of your breath. Keep 
each exhalation, allowing a subtle drop into the earth. Each exhalation, allowing the fibres of the muscles to release and let go. Let go of the sinews and the tendons, connecting the bones and the muscles together. Let them rest and let go. Allow the capillaries, the veins, the arches of the body to decompress so everything that moves through your body, every cell, moves through with ease. Drop back into your body, drop back into your mind. Allow all the cells of the body to regenerate, regroup and rest. Allow the lungs to be expansive and super spongy at taking on the oxygen. Allow the muscles of the face, jaw, the eyes to rest, rejuvenate and relax. Allow the synapses of the mind to clear away the old information and allow space for new information. Allow the body's energy system to weed out what no longer serves, so the body can blossom and bloom Allow the physical body to rest and release. While the energy body, light body, electromagnetical body is expansive, light, glowing. Deepen the breath in these moments. Taste the breath in these moments. I ask that your body goes even deeper still into safe, healing, relaxation. All is well.
take a clean, fresh breath into the nose. Exhale softly in the mouth. Inhale, stretch and start to move. Exhale softly and relax. Inhale, take the full stretch into the corners of your skin, your bones. And relax. Take the hands to the back of the neck and gently stroke the ligaments, the nerves, the vessels, the bones, the base of the jaw, rub behind the back of the ears, and along the top of the shoulders. And when you're ready, I invite you to come to seated. Ah. So I'd like to wish you all with more than I have the verbal capacity to communicate. I'd like to thank you all and wish you all a beautiful day today. May each moment bring you something new. Be kind to yourselves. Tomorrow, we will not be working on the neck and the shoulders. We will need to rest them tomorrow. So tomorrow, we'll be doing a nice, smooth vinyasa flow. We won't be doing planks. So we'll won't be repetition because there's probably going to be some soreness. We need to rest the Wednesday. We come back at it Thursday playfully. Friday we culminate in the levitation of the body in a way it needs to be. But till then, I love you all. Peace, love and light. Mwah. Have the best day ever. Oh yeah, and before I go, please drink water. Three litres. Gotcha. Mwah. Ladies all, message me if you need any more info. I'll be here.